How you doing guys? Touch Dominus Dog Train, aka K9 Genie. And today I want to talk about the importance of introducing dogs and kids. Right, I see a lot of people make a lot of mistakes and you want to make sure you're very careful and you're paying a lot of attention to the kids and the dogs and the body language from both the dog and the kid, right? Kids shouldn't be jumping on the dog back. Your kids shouldn't be pulling the dog's ears. Your kids shouldn't be doing no physical harm to the dog. But there's also rules for the dog, right? The dog shouldn't be jumping all over the kid. The dog shouldn't be jumping on the kid's back and all that type of stuff. You want it to be calm and you want the dog and the kid to respect each other, right? So today, um, I'm gonna show y'all cause I got my little nephew here and he's gonna get introduced to a young dog for the first time. He's young and he's young, right? So this is a perfect example. I could have brought out one of my older dogs, but they already seasoned and they probably wouldn't even show nothing or jump on him because I done already took them through the training. But with this dog, he's young. I haven't took him th uh, through the training and I'm finna introduce him to a young kid for the first time. And I'm gonna show y'all the procedures and stuff that I take to make sure that they have an awesome relationship. All right, we're gonna introduce him as you can see. All right, he has to be calm, all right. Come up and pet him, Katie. Pet him, pet him, don't be scared. There we go, there we go. And this how calm it should be. It shouldn't be no farther than that. But as you can see, I had to give him a little correction because he likes to jump, right? He don't mean no harm by it, but it's gonna be some harm to him because he's too small, right? I don't mind him jumping on me, but he gotta understand that he has to respect the young kid, right? And this kid also must understand that he has to respect the animal, right? Because it's things that kids do to animals that make them retaliate, right? And y'all wanna blame the dog. It's never the dog's fault, right? So anytime you have kids and dogs together, it always should be highly, highly supervised, right? Cause quit trying to blame the dog. Once the dog bite, right? The dog has boundaries too. And we gotta make sure that the kid is not crossing those boundaries. But come on, pet him. Come on, you can pet him. Good boy. Don't be scared. Pet him. Good. There we go. There we go. So we calm. We don't want no leash tension, right? But I also come pet him. I, 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 I. See, we can't have that, right? And this is why I chose this young dog because I know he's like that, right? So come pet him. Stop being scared. Don't be scared. There you go. Can't be scared. Right, that scared behavior can also send a dog into a defensive mindset because he's like, why he coming over me scared? So be calm, don't be scared. Come touch him with no issue, right? So come touch him and don't be scared, just touch him. Tell him good boy. There we go, all right? All right, and there we go, all right? So, and that's, that's how it should be. But as you can see, dogs can get excited and he, as you see, he got excited and jumped on them. So I corrected him and told him, nah, -uh. That's not the behavior that we're going to have towards the kids, right? But that's pretty much it. You always want to make sure the relationship is like this. And it takes a lot of supervision for this relationship to be like this, right? So don't never, me personally, I would say don't never have your dog around your kids unsupervised, right? Don't never do that, right? I always want to supervise it because kids are kids and dogs are dogs. So you want to make sure the relationship is there and stuff like that. But you might want to take that into consideration. <laughs> they can send a dog into defense. So that's why I tell people like you can't be creepy around or you can't be doing weird stuff around them. Cause dogs like, why bro being so creepy? Why he going like this towards me? That's the same stuff we do to put a dog in defense. We creep up on them and we do weird shit. So people need to understand that too. So, when you introducing a dog to a kid, make sure them kids is not doing weird shit. You should be able to go straight up and pet the dog and act normal, right? Because a dog can have a different type of perception over that creepy shit like this, like, hold on, why bro being creepy? You see what I'm saying? And that can make a dog want to bite or make that, I right, get away from me, you being creepy now. 
So we can't blame the dog. Dogs have uh, thresholds too, right? And they got things that they think is weird, right? So if I come up to KD like this and I'm like, hey, bro, you feel what I'm saying? I'm acting weird towards him. Human nature gonna be like, hey, bro, why you acting weird? You feel what I'm saying? And they're gonna kind of put you in a slight of a defense type of behavior. Like, bro, why you acting weird? Instead of me walking up to KD, what up, bro? You feel me? I come up, I'm acting normal. But if I'm coming up like this, hey, bro, you feel me? Like, what you, you feel? That's weird. So dogs feel that energy, right? So you wanna make sure, like, that's why you always gotta pay attention, bro. <laughs> Cause stuff can be weird, bro.